Hello friends, welcome to our today's session. In this series, we are learning about Azure Databricks and in our today's video, we will see how to pass a variable or how to share a variable between Scala or Python or SQL inside a same notebook. So as you all know, in Databricks, we do have cells and in each cells, we can code it in a different language if needed, like by using a magic command percentage Scala or else percentage Python or else percentage SQL. So with help of that, we can code it in different uh, languages inside the same notebook itself. And uh, sometimes we might end up in uh, using the same variable that we declared above into the other language. So in those cases, uh, there is a restrictions like we will not be able to use the variable that we declared in Python in Scala or else in SQL. Uh, so how to overcome that that's what we are going to see in this video So that being said let us move on to our community edition Databricks and let us learn how to do it We are into my Databricks community edition account I have already started the cluster and will walk you through each and every step To understand this and the use case that we are taking today is I am declaring a variable of type string in Python and I am trying to use that in the Scala programming language so as you can see here I am using dim underscore pi is equal to variable Python let me run this and print it so let us see uh, if I use this dim underscore pi into a Scala language what happens So obviously you can see there is a failure message and the failure message says the value dim underscore pi is not found. We will not be able to share the variable across Python to Scala. So to achieve this, we have to use sparconf. Sparconf is nothing but an arbitrary key value pair uh, which will be set a, and it will long last till the application is up and running. And uh, here we are going to set the variable. Uh, set the key value pair using spark.con.set and we will get those back using spark.con.get and uh, you can see here I am setting the variable dim underscore pi in this way and note this format you have to give it in the same format otherwise uh, it will not work out so in spark.con.set I am giving the key as my application my app dot the variable name uh, some variable name I am giving and I am setting this and to get it we have to use spark.count.get and the value and the name of the key that we declared above. So this is how we will be getting the values using spark.conf and you can leverage this and uh, get that value in Scala. So here you can see in the inside Scala language I am using val dim example equal to spark.count.get and I am using the key that we declared above. So let me run this. So you can see the value got uh, printed here. It is a string of variable underscore Python. So in this way you can pass a variable between uh, Scala to Python uh, and uh, the vice versa as well. So if you declare a variable in Scala and if you wanted to use in Python the same way you will uh, use val dim, under, dim underscore sc is equal to some variable name and you have to set it into the spark.conf.set as I did here and you can use it in uh, python as spark.conf.get but in SQL it is bit different you can directly use it in this way so as you can see here I am using dollar symbol uh, within curly braces I am giving the key name and running this so you can see here the name is being printed variable underscore python and variable underscore scala in this way you will be able to share the variables between uh, python scala and sql so hope you guys understood this uh, try this on your own machine and let me know if you face any issues i'm happy to help you guys uh, thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content thank you